My guests today, Christina Carrera and Anthony Ponomarenko, 2017 Junior World Bronze Medalist and 2018 One Step Up as the Junior World Silver Medalist. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Thank, Thank you for you having, having us. us, Ted. Christina, uh, how did a charming Canadian Quebec young lady end up skating in and for the United <laughs> States? Well, actually, we competed against each other at Lake Placid. I think we were like, what, 11, 12? Yeah. And um, both our moms like saw the other one and they kind of kept stalking us <laughs> after <laughs> just to see how we're doing with our old partners. And then we both ended up at Igor's camp and we broke up with our partners. That's kind of how we teamed up. Well, well, I'm sure when your mom and dad are sort of watching, they're going to go, stalking? You were stalking? <laughs> <laughs> Great choice, of, great choice of words. So listen, when you guys teamed up, what became, what was the easy part and what was the difficult part? Because everybody has different skills. So when you first teamed up, what was, what was automatic? Um, well, I think for any new team, it takes a while to kind of get the, the same rhythm so that you skate together, you can skate closer and everything. So that probably took a while, but I'd say like just stroking and footworks, all mm -hmm. of that came mm -hmm. kind of easy. Yeah, it wasn't. Too uh, we had uh, we had a lot of difficulty with compulsory dances or yeah. pattern dances, <laughs> um, and that's one key component in ice dance that really defines um, a good team from a not so good team. So we we really worked on compulsory dances our first couple years, um, just every day with uh, with our coach Igor, um, just repetitions and working on pattern mm -hmm. dances. So what was so difficult about uh, the compulsory dances? I mean, because, you know, I watch a lot of them. I don't really know what I'm, I know what I'm looking at, but I don't know exactly every step. But what was difficult for you in those dances? I think it's because you don't get to make up your own steps. It's kind of given to you. So you you don't choose the position that's the most comfortable. And I don't know, when you're not used to skating with the other person, it's uh, like you yeah. can feel like you're bumping into each other. And then that looks like your, it looks like yeah. work mm -hmm. instead of you're just dancing through it. So it takes a lot of time, just a lot of repetition really, right? Yeah. yeah. Just to get comfortable. So now we're going to get back to skating a little bit here. And uh, I want to ask you, because you're on the Junior Grand Prix for a number of years, and I think you won all four of your Junior Grand Prix events. Uh, um, but now you're seniors. And uh, what is the difference? Uh, how would you explain to a young skater in, as a junior moving into the senior, what is the difference uh, in an athlete of a junior Grand Prix versus a senior Grand Prix? It's like a different sport. <laughs> <laughs> Um, like everyone's much more serious. It feels like the Grand Prix final at every competition. Like it's that big. And I think that's the main difference. It's just the athletes are older. They're more serious. I think, uh, in junior, um, you really feel on top of the world. And then when yeah. you, when you move senior, it hits pretty hard. Um, the, uh, there's a lot more talent there's uh, everything's just a lot more um very difficult to make it in senior so it's it's almost like starting over on a fresh page yeah i guess you have to keep yourself sort of emotionally balanced because when you move to senior you say okay i'm starting again here and be patient you know give yourself enough time mm -hmm. to climb yeah. the ladder there well moving to that uh you were i think and correct me if i'm wrong you were fourth at senior nationals this year uh is that correct? Yes. Yes. And yes. Um, were you happy with last year's debut in the senior um, uh, events? Uh, how did you feel about your first year in senior? We were really happy. I think we kind of had a, a really good transition. We got, we medaled at both, all our senior challengers. challengers. Um, we won the last one. We medaled at the Grand Prix in Russia, which that's, to me, that was a huge yeah. accomplishment. Very big accomplishment, first year senior. <laughs> yeah. Um, we weren't really expecting to do that well first year. And then winning the uh, the pewter medal at Nationals, a yeah. uh, very big step towards our future. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we're very thankful for the past two years in senior, and we, we really look forward to what, um, what, what will happen in the mm -hmm. future. 
Well, just a couple more questions. But what I wanted to ask you, like, since COVID came along, it's been so difficult for everybody worldwide, no question. But for athletes training specifically, uh, how did you get through that? And, and how long have you been back on the ice? We got back on the ice in June, mm -hmm. beginning of June. So right now we feel like we're at a pretty good place. Um, <laughs> stepping back on the ice, I felt like we were learning to skate again. Yep. <laughs> but uh, with COVID, we had uh, an opportunity to sit down with our coaches and really, um, really think about what we want to do for a program. Uh, we had a lot of time to discuss uh, element strategy, um, music, mm -hmm. and everything like that. So, and we even choreographed a little bit off the ice as well. Yeah, we kind of had our rough draft done off ice. So then when we got back on, it was pretty easy. So transition here, we want to go back to 2017 uh, and take a look at your free dance. Uh, I've always loved watching you guys dance. There's something uh, unique and special. I mean, skills take years to develop. We get that with every athlete. But when you watch athletes and they, they, they make you feel something and the effort and the, your own passion comes out in your communication to the audience, I've always felt that with you. So I um, always love to watch uh, all of your programs. Shane, thank back. you. Yeah, we're going to go back to 2017. We're going to walk. You're going to talk about what you felt or how things went in this program, and let's take a look at a couple yeah. of years back. We, uh, we, for this program, we really wanted to make a concept where Christina was a butterfly and I was the wind. So oh, yeah. we added even the sound effects in the beginning of the free dance. And then uh, this lift, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was there something wrong with it? I remember, no, I was, I was so angry at that competition because I fell in the short. And that literally never happened. So I felt like I really had to redeem myself in this program. Oh, the twizzles are beautifully done there. Yep, not the uh, day before. <laughs> <laughs> was there any part of this program that was particularly more difficult than the rest? Our, uh, stirple, uh, our circle step sequence um, right here coming up, uh, we covered um, wall to wall, um, and <laughs> <laughs> we kept crashing yeah. into the wall. <laughs> but it was it was very beautifully done. Um, it was one of my favorite st step sequences that yeah, we've done too. so far. I think it worked really well with the music. The hardest part's the one after the circle, the spin. <laughs> oh, you guys had beautiful deep edges there, and just rode the energy coming out of that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, See, this having... is where we start to get a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> Can you ever overperform? Like, you know how much you have to think technically, but you also have to perform at such a high level that you get caught up in the performance too much? Yeah, so yeah, like sometimes uh, I would do something extra and I would kind of shake a little bit and I'll be like, oh no, I need to calm down a little bit. I still have half a free dance. Left. <laughs> Our Junior Worlds. Yeah. <laughs> Our uh, Junior Worlds performance of this program, uh, at the end of the program, I closed my eyes in the last lift. I want to kill and we almost crashed into the and wall. We almost crashed into the board. <laughs> but I wanted a moment. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been if you had to hit the boards, that's for sure. Oh yeah, that would have been a moment for sure. But the the effect of the wind uh, throughout your music here is just great because it, you feel like you're being pushed and you're flowing so beautifully. I love this lift mm -hmm. right here. Yeah. Well, I can see a little bit more passion coming out in the performance now because you know you're getting close to the yeah, end. Yeah, because we're <laughs> done. <Yeah. laughs> And then this, uh, this choreo lift, we changed it for every competition. We changed the ending for yeah. every competition. I don't remember this at all. And then this is our uh, highlight move from our last year, uh, Junior. Yeah, that was a muse. Oh, that's so beautiful. 
And how do you feel like at the end of the performance? Do you, I mean, do you ever speak, like analyze it right away or are you just emotionally connected? Depends how it went. We usually know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, we, yeah. uh, we just know by the feeling when it was a good run through mm-hmm. or a bad run through. Um, yeah. <laughs> this one, we were happy. We were happy with this. <laughs> Have you ever spoken? I think, um, our, Go ahead. Our, our short dance in Salzburg where this uh, uh, competition was, uh, wasn't the best. So we were happy to just skate a good free dance. So the unveiling of your new program this year, what is it? So for the free dance, we're doing Dr. Zhivago. Oh, beautiful. And we're keeping last year's rhythm dance. Okay. Great. Well, you've heard it here live. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Well, listen, guys, uh, you guys uh, were uh, such a beautiful uh, part of the Junior Grand Prix in the years that you were on that circuit. We always enjoyed watching and gee you did pretty well there uh and now you're <laughs> now and now you're you're on your journey into seniors with uh lots of uh lots of time to come and lots to be learned and lots to be gained and i, I I'm, I'm most positive you're gonna have an outstanding career in seniors and i was so pleased to get to know you both uh, a bit better as wonderful skaters but more importantly as charming and delightful young people so uh thank you very much for thank taking you. time thank you. Yeah. To, to speak with me and uh, i wish you the very best this season whatever that might be uh, so thank you very thank much, you so Christina much. Carrera and Anthony Ponomarenko.